that every child must undertake to open up another important stage of their lives, the elementary graduation. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all witness the virtual graduation day of the Nag Elementary School, Batch 2021-2022, with the theme, Graduate ng K-12, Masigasig sa mga pangarap at matatag sa mga pagsubok. To start with, let us pay attention to our national anthem. This will be followed by a prayer to be led by Faith Angeli P. Pabustan and listen to our provincial and municipal theme song. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. of our K-12 education. Give us clearness of mind to look forward into the plans and purposes you have for us. May we take the road towards the future with a fear in our hearts and with strength and courage to face the challenges that may come our way as we pursue in reaching our dreams. As we take our journey towards the fulfillment of our dreams, May you will lead us safely to what you plan for us. Grant us success for our efforts at every turn, despite the hardship this pandemic brings, the difficulty of adjustment to the new situation. We felt your guidance and protection for us, for we were able to conquer all challenges we encounter in life. May you continue to guide us to where you plan us to be, and where we are destined to be in the future. We thank you for our teachers, 
who unselfishly share their knowledge and wisdom to make us a better individual. We pray that you continue to pour the blessing wisdom upon them to make them effective in molding and touching lips of other pupils in the future. We thank you for our parents who never give up on us no matter what, still there to support us at all costs. May you continue to give this threat so that they can still be our guide and shelter us until we can stand on our own. And mostly, we thank you, Lord, for the gift of wisdom that stand upon us. May we will use this gift to live according to your will and that we will live our life to glorify you in eternity. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sa hantikan kag sumakwelan Hamtik malin ang mainuswag ang nabanwa Na kung ang kang din ang manggat kagkasadya Maapi-apihin katawan mo nga dangganan Sa tanan nga panahon Ikaw amon palang gaan Hamtik sa pagligat kang malawit nga dinakon Ikaw nang inhariki kang mga institusyon Sa pagtuo edukasyon Kag si General Fulion Mga sarandigan kang mapagtun nga tradisyon Hantik matahang kagparaktas ang nabanwa Sa inong abaybayan binirayan na kilala Puod nga kang bukos nga antikigin halinan Puod nga bantok sa hantikan kag sumakwelan Hantik mali ng mainuswag ang nabanwa Napunantang din ang manggat kagkasadya 
maapi abihin katauhan mo nga dangganan sa tanan nga panahon ikaw aman palanggaan hamtik makahungkat maraktasan nga banwa sa imo nga baybayan binirayan nakilala Puod nga ang bukos nga antikigin halinan Puod nga pantog sa hantikan kag sumakwelan Hantik malinang mainuswagan nga banwa Napun ang tanggan ang manggat kag kasadya Maabi-abihan katawhan mo nga dangganan Sa tanan nga panahon, ikaw aman palanggaan Von Andre Okahilig will give his welcome remarks. This will be followed by a message to Danilo de la Cruz, our PTA president. My greetings of good day to everyone. We will be witnessing our special day today to our beloved principal, Mrs. Diana Lynn P. Delgado, our beloved teachers, to our guest speaker for this year's closing program, Mr. Michael Divino. Our beloved parents, our PTA official headed by Mr. Danilo de la Cruz, our barangay officials of Barangay Governor Ibijay, headed by Honorable Captain Dave de los Santos, schoolmates and friends, a pleasant day to each and every. What a wonderful journey that after a very long way, we come to this precious moment, our graduation day, the moment that seems to be the culminating of all that we have been in the past. The happy moments in school before this pandemic and being the survivor of this two-year distance learning modality setup. Yes, we had survived the hardship and difficulty of this kind of learning. We had ourselves adjusted to this situation, no matter how hard it was. And we are proud to say we conquer and now is the time to celebrate what we have achieved in our elementary education. Excitement and proud seem to be the underlying words to describe the feelings that we have at this very moment. For at last, after six long years of striving to attain better education, it's now time to reap the fruits of success. It is now time to say that we are somehow equipped with the foundation necessary in making ourselves ready to face whatever task and greater challenges loom ahead of us. We feel fortunate to achieve something in our own little way and very glad that with everything that we owe from you, the people around us, our loving and very kind teachers, our very supportive parents who sacrificed a lot in bringing our needs in school with our God's blessings. A few minutes from now, we, the graduating pupils will receive our diplomas as proof of our most valuable achievement for completing our elementary education and later while we will be called graduates. Our dear guests and everyone joining us virtually today, you are the witnesses of this great achievement of our lives, our being the graduates of this year's closing program, confident of turning things into reality at times they are meant to be. In behalf of the faculty and staff of Lanag Elementary School and the graduating class of Batch 2021-2022, my warmest welcome to all of you. Welcome to the 2021-2022 closing program with the theme, K-12 Graduates, Pursuing Dreams and Fostering Resilience in the Face of Adversity. Thank you very much and once again, a pleasant day to each and everyone. Mayad nga adlaw sa tanan, ginakalipay ko kayo nga ako, nanging kapahin kang Lanag Elementary School bilang PTA President. Sa mga grade 6 nga bagulang na graduate, kabay pa nga magapadayon ka mo sa pagdabot kang inyong mga handam sa kabuhi. Sa pagdabot kang inyong mga handam sa kabuhi, magimurat sa pagtuon, agad ka mo sa pirakadlaw, manging katimbang kang inyong mga ginikanan. Nga nagagwanta suray sa uran, kag-init, Makita lang kakwarta, agad masuportahan ang inyong pagtuon. Sa inyong pagpanakaton, duro ng mga upang kagtintasyon ang inyong masugalaw sa kabuhi. 
hindi magpadaradara sa padaradara. Stay focus agud ang hantong kang inyong ginikanan kagang inyong man matuman. Congratulations, Bats 2022. Let us now proceed to the presentation of the candidates for graduation by the Grade 6 Advisor, Mrs. Abilina M. Abong, Certification of Candidates for Graduation by the Principal of the School, Mrs. Diana Lynn P. Delgado, and the confirmation of the graduates by Ms. Teresita de Basadre, Principal 1 of Inboico Elementary School. Mrs. Diana Lynn P. Delgado, I have the honor to present to you the 65 candidates for graduation for school year 2021-2022. 38 of them are boys and 27 are girls. They have satisfactorily completed the requirements as prescribed by the Bureau of Elementary of Education, Department of Education. Based on the presentation of Mrs. Savilina M. Abong, the Grade 6 Class Advisor, I do hereby certify the graduation of the 65 candidates for graduation. 37 males and 28 females of Lenag Elementary School for the school year 2021-2022. They have satisfactorily completed the minimum requirements under the K-12 Basic Education Curriculum as prescribed by the Bureau of Elementary Education, Department of Education. As the principal of the school, I therefore recommend the confirmation of their graduation. Mrs. Teresita A. Basadre, Principal 1 of Mboyko Elementary School. Ma'am, for your confirmation. Upon the presentation of the class advisors, certification of the school in charge or school head that these candidates for graduation have satisfactorily completed the minimum requirements prescribed by the Department of Education under the K-12 Basic Education Curriculum, and upon the recommendation of your school in charge or school head in behalf of Sylvia A. Ubani, Ph.D., Principal 2, Moscoso Rio Central School, and Principal in charge, Hampton South District, and by the authority vested in me by the school's division superintendent, Felisa B. Beriong, Sesu 6, and or its representative, I now confirm the graduation of these candidates for graduation for school year 2021-2022 of the following schools, Fabrica Elementary School, Igbukagay Elementary School, Alberto Shasat Elementary School, Botbot Elementary School, Pili Elementary School, and the Nag Elementary School. Congratulations! You may now receive your certificate. At this point, may we call on Ms. Myla Rose and Javier to present our esteemed guest speaker. Our guest speaker for today is a staff surgeon officer. He graduated his elementary education at the Nag Elementary School, Batch 2002. His secondary education at Antiquian National School and graduated his college degree at the University of Iloilo, taking up Bachelor of Science in Criminology. He is enlisted in the U.S. Army in the year 2010. He has been an instructor in the following schools. Warriors Leader Scores, Yusarak NSO Academy in Alaska. Advanced Leader Scores, Maneuver Center of Excellence, Fort Benning, Georgia. Infantry Mortars Leader Scores, Infantry School, Fort Benning, Georgia. And a Drill Sergeant. Drill Sergeant Academy, Fort Jackson, South California. As regards to his foreign deployment, he has been assigned a staff sergeant at the following foreign countries, Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, Jordan, Egypt, and Kuwait. 
He was awarded as five times Army Commendation, four times Army Achievement, and a Northern Alliance Treaty Organization Commendation. Currently, he is a senior instructor at Infantry Fort Benin, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, Staff Sergeant Michael C. Divino. To our principal, Ma'am Diana Lynn Delgado, teachers of the Nag Elementary School, beloved parents, kagsatanan ng graduating student of Batch 2022. A pleasant and a joyful day to all of you. When I had my elementary graduation rights in 2000, I was on the same venue that all of you are occupying right now. We actually shared the same experience of learning because some of your teachers were also my teachers during my elementary years. Before I continue, I want to recognize the dedication to duty and the unwavering loyalty to their profession of my past teachers that up to this day are still serving in my beloved alma mater. To Mrs. Oraka, Mrs. Anogal, Mrs. Sepe, Mrs. Sapan, and Mrs. Nombre Hermoso, thank you for all your sacrifices of equipping all your students with knowledge and wisdom so they can be ready to take the next chapter of their lives. You have been a big part of their life's journey as well as mine. 22 years later, I can still recall Evan feel the excitement that most of you feel at this moment. The first graduation of many graduation that follow as I continue my life's journey. Of course, the first one for me is the most memorable. It was at Lanak Elementary School that, was, that I was able to learn the basics in life to include my first reading and math skills and many other foundation skills. Kunwara ang mga natunan ko sa akin mga maestra, I can never succeed. Imagine that this very school ground, I was able to learn to read and write. It is also at Lanag Elementary School that I was able to meet my childhood friends that up to this day remain to be my best of friends. Actually, Two of my elementary classmates' children are part of this batch 2022 graduating students. To my classmate, Ms. Cherelmi Magbanwa and Ms. Alma Enriquez, congratulations for finishing the first educational achievement of your children's journey. My elementary schooling at Lanag created a very solid foundation to my person and up to this day I am so grateful. The graduation team of DepEd this year tell us to pursue our dreams. Maging masigasig sa ating mga pangarap. Ang masigasig ay kasing kahulugan na maging masipag at matyaga. This is the formula I firmly take it to heart to realize my goals and aspirations in life. After I graduated BS Criminology in 2008 at University of Iloilo, my father petitioned me to join him in America. To the minds of many, it was, it was a good life waiting to be experienced. But the reality is, it was only a change of country to live. The struggles, 
problems, difficulties, and complications outside of my comfort zone are the realities. Duro-duro gid ng mga bagay na dapat kuman matunan para maka-adjust sa kabuhi sa Amerika. Literal na luha kag sipon man ang akin na agman. But I have to pursue my goals no matter what it takes. I am a criminology graduate and I have to be a good one. In May 2010, I was enlisted in the United States Army. My tour of duty included Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, Egypt, Jordan, and Kuwait. Sobra ang kabudlay, kagdelikado ang amon mga trainings and assignments. But looking back, I was reminded by Chadwick Boseman when he wrote, Whatever you choose for a career path, remember the struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose. Gani amakuon ko, to be a military is my purpose in life. Misan ano pa kabudlay, I have to persevere. Maging matatag sa lahat ng pagsubok ng buhay is the other thing that DepEd is reminding the graduates who batch 2022 to possess. I have to tell our graduates, bisan kami naka-experiensya man kang kabudlay kang kabuhi estudyante. Kung kaisa naubusan ka allowance, kung kaisa bisan basic needs na sang ka-estudyante hindi pa namin ma-provide. Pero bisan amuto ang pangabuhi nagapati gid ako ng madabot ko ang akin ginahandam sa kabuhi. Kung kay President Franklin Diran, Delano Roosevelt pa nagahambal nga the only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today. Let's move forward with strong and active faith. Our teachers at Lanag were like Malcolm X. Si Malcolm X tana kaya sa mga civil rights activist sa United States kung di kada sa isinta. Tana naga kuon nga education is our passport to the future. For tomorrow belongs to the people who prepares for it today. Ang tusun natin ang kabudlay kag magtuon kamayan. Our passport to a good life is through education. Simple but powerful words. To all the parents, I encourage you not to give up the future of your children. Bisan gaano kabudlay ang pangabuhi himuratan tagid nga makatapos ang atin mga kabataan ay ang mugidra ang sara sa pinakaimportante ng matubro mo kananda. When I joined the United States Army, my elementary teachers remained to be my inspiration. Their patience and loyalty to their profession are the values that I always reminded of. So, when I was assigned in training and doctrine command at senior, uh, doctrine command as a senior instructor at School of Infantry, Fort Benning, Georgia, I also teach with patience and loyalty to my duty. This is the way of giving honor to all my teachers. To our graduates, this is your first taste 
of victory. Aside from your teachers, your parents are always beside you in your schooling. Amurangan at tapos kamu ka first step of your education because of their unwavering support and love. Bisan ka isa, may kabudlay kita nga may eksperyensya sa andang parenting style, yet their love remain to be our strength. To me, the greatest training I had from my parents was to earn my balun. Dumduman ko kam bata pa ko. Mamaligya kami anay kam bugto ko nga si Kiko kang banana kyu para lang may balun sa sunod nga adlaw. To all parents, salamat sa inyong pagpati nga sa edukasyon may buwas damlag ang inyong kabataan. Kag congratulations kaninyo. Graduates of Batch 2022, congratulations and may the good Lord continue to bless you with more success in life. Thank you, Staff Sergeant Michael Devino. That was a very inspiring and motivating story. Hope that these young minds instill what they have heard from you and learn from it. Moving on, let us proceed to the highlights of today's program, the presentation of the graduates by their advisors. Grade 6, Adorable. Kahilig Von Andre O. Kaluban John Matthew A. De La Vega Benjamin Michael D. Galliano Reagan H. Heronda John Edward P. Magbanwa Luis III R. Narciso Jensen Don N. Olianas Jason C. Pido John Alray C. Isera John Patrick B. Kahilig Dayan. Kahilig Faith Chilaisa F. Caspilio Raisa Joy C. De Los Santos, Alia Cassandra D. Ortega, Micaela M. Pabustan, Faith Angeli P. Rombines, Mary Emmy S. Santerva, Shana Lawrence C. Sifulan, Princess Joy D. Sir Nicola, Grisha Kate M. Siblet, Jillian T. Tolentino, Rail, Angelique D. Triste, Kiana Jane A. Tri 
Grade 6, Joyful. Aurelio James S. Kahilig J. Rodolph B. Castillo John Albert E. De La Cruz Franklin Jr. D. Layog John Kyle M. Magbanwa Norman A. Opinia Jesse Jr. M. Salvan Ivan Celestine E. Sampolio Russell J. C. Sarasa Ken Brian C. Sifulan Christopher T. Yango Gerson L. Kahilig Starling Joy O. Upan Roxanne C. Delphine Rhea Chris Faith O. Ipunia Angel Heart D. Injana Orpha Omega S. Ojada Chanel C. Samiliano Leia Marie L. Sarasa Pearly Joy M. Sifulan Jessica C. Tablada Norris Jane C. Grade 6 Modest. Lagan Von P. E. Alvanias Bench Jan C. Are you hard? J. M. Valdivia Louis Jr. V. Benaflor John Paul C. Caballo Charles John A. Tahili Angelo T. Tahili Eric M. Kahilig Mark Nathan R. Kahilig Romel M. Delgado John Arcadio T. Hasildo Steven D. Umagwas John Kenneth B. Magbas John Kirk B. Shakur John Ray S. Kanha Pearly Jane O. Upan Princess Emery M. Rosales Juvi Nicole S. Servano Raisa S. Tamayo Angel S. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor to present to you graduates who excel academically for school year 2021-2022. Graduates awarded with award with high honors will receive a ribbon, a Certificate of Academic Excellence Award, and a Silver Medal. They will be called in alphabetical manner. And now, 
I'm proud to present to you graduates with high honors, Vaughn Andre O. Kahili. Another graduates with high honors, Rail Angelique Tolentino. Rail is also awarded leadership award, being the SPG president of the Nag Elementary School and is given a gold medal. And now let's go to graduates with honor. Graduates awarded with the award with honors will receive a ribbon, a certificate of academic excellence award, and a bronze medal. And they will be called in alphabetical manner. And now, graduates with honor, Diane Kahili, Faith Jelisa F. Kahili, Faith Angeli C. Pabustan, Risha Kate S. Cernicola, Kiana Jane a. Triste John Patrick B. Vicera Now, let us hear the farewell message to be given by Rail Angelique D. Tolentino with high honors. To our beloved school head, Mrs. Tayana Limpi Delgado, our guest alumni speaker, Mr. Michael Divino, our dear teachers, our beloved parents, our PTA officials, headed by Mr. Danilo de la Cruz, our Barangay officials of Barangay Governor EBJ, headed by Honorable Barangay Captain Dave de los Santos, schoolmates and friends, a pleasant day to each and everyone. July 1, 2022, I think we will agree that this day is definitely not ordinary. Today, we acknowledge the people we've met, all the lessons learned, the tears shed, the laughter we shared, the memories made in our six years as elementary pupils, and the hardship we experienced because of this COVID pandemic, something unusual than what is commonly a normal school setting. But today, we show our parents, our teachers, and most especially ourselves, that no matter how tough our experiences, we are stronger to face such obstacle. We are a survivor, and we consider ourselves the K-12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity. We can say that we are now equipped with the foundation we need to face a bigger task ahead of us. This graduation, as I may say, is not the end of our seek for knowledge, for it is always said that education is an endless process, a never-ending conditioning of one's skills, knowledge, and values. For somebody to be more fulfilled, it is not enough for us to just simply be contented with this achievement of ours. We have to make sure that further education can make changes in our lives. My dear fellow graduates, let us not stop from here. Let this be a beginning of our journey to the endless path of learning. We cannot be all-knowing, yet we can strive hard to know all. Let us go the distance and be proud that we've been part of Lanag Elementary School so that someday our beloved alma mater could be proud of us too. Our dear teachers, thank you for all the teachings you had given us. We will always bear it in our minds to guide us as we grow. Nanay and tatay, durugid niya salamat sa inyo pag-agwanta sa sulod kadarwa katuig Kamu nagbalik-balik sa eskwelahan sa pagbuol kaamon module just to keep us safe. Sorry for being pasaway sometimes. It is just part of our being a child. But deep in our hearts, we love you and we will be forever grateful for loving and molding us to become a more productive individual for of our community. May you will never give up on us and will always be there for us to guide to the right direction of life. Lastly, thank you Lord for the grace of life you had bestowed on us and for the people around us who's ready to guide us for always. Thank you very much and good day. Thank you, Real Angelic Tolentino. Job well done. Next is the Pledge of Loyalty 
Why the graduates to be led by one Andre Kahili with high honors? My dear fellow graduates, please raise your right hand and let us recite the Pledge of Loyalty in unison. We, the graduates of school year 2021-2022, solemnly pledge to be faithful to God, our fellow man, and to our alma mater, the Lanag Elementary School. We pledge to live up the expectations of our school from where we are molded, especially of the basic skills, knowledge, and good virtues, making us God-loving, earth-friendly, productive, and useful citizens of our country. We pledge never to bring disgrace to our school by any act of disloyalty or irreverence. We will fight for the high ideals for which our dear alma mater stands in order to help build a greater Lanag Elementary School. So help us, God. Right now, let us hear the messages from our Deep Ed heads. Leonor Magtulis Biriones, the Deep Ed Secretary. Mr. Ramir Oitiko, Season 3, Regional Director of Region 6. Dr. Felisa B. Berio, School Division Superintendent of Antique. Dr. Sylvia A. Obani, Principal 2, Principal in Charge of the District. And Mrs. Diana Lynn P. Delgado, our school principal. To new beginnings and new challenges, my dear graduates, congratulations. Moving up to a higher stage of life is a moment to be proud of. This year, our theme, Graduate ng K-12, Masigasig sa mga pangarap at matatag sa mga pagsubok. K-12 graduates, pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity, speaks out of you, my dear graduates. You are a special class. You have had to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic and its global impact, and you have shown great fortitude, resilience, and perseverance. Despite these challenges, or more accurately, because of this, you are a stronger learner, having tested yourself as you have overcome the unexpected and persevered. May you continue to persevere and always remember the values and attitudes that molded you to become productive and useful individual of the community. Kabataang K-12 Padayon The brilliance of Deped Region 6, Western Visayas, the home of the champions. The man behind the institutionalization of the regional mantra, every child is a champion. An advocate of sustainable economy and food security translated into the establishment of farm schools. A champion of teacher leadership through the establishment of School Heads Academy in Region 6. An initiator of educational innovation showdown across the region. The champion of champions. Dr. Ramir Barbera Nuitico, SESO 3. My warmest congratulations to the completers and graduates of school year 2021-2022. To finish an academic year during this time of uncertainty is tough, but to outshine any challenge brings a step closer to one's aspirations and dreams. Flourishing and thriving through unforeseen tests without breaking makes one a true champion. And these have been proven 
in the midst of the pandemic and all remain victorious. My dear learners, always listen to your inner gods and goddesses. Follow your path and be the shakers who change the future and accept failures but come back strong. Do not stop surging for your success and what you can achieve tomorrow. And you will be beautifully change the landscape of your future because you come from Region 6, where every child is a champion. This year's theme, K-12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity, emphasizes that there is no greater joy in surpassing a year of challenged learning experiences. The knowledge you have acquired through unconventional modes is a proof that success defeats glitches. We thank the teachers, parents, and all members of the family, friends, education leaders, local executives, and the whole community for their relentless effort and persistence in molding the bright future of these learners. Together we unite, together we dream, and together we produce champions. Once again, congratulations. My warmest greetings to all the school officials, administrators, faculty members, and advisors, teachers, parents, and guardians of the graduates and completers of school year 2021-2022. On behalf of the Department of Education, or DepEd, I am proud to celebrate the successes, the milestones, and achievements of this batch of graduates and promoted students in this year end of school rights with the theme K-12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity. In the past six years, we committed our mandate to enhance the quality of education broaden its access, and ensure its relevance in the rapidly changing world. DepEd endeavored to address each challenge by instituting programs and reforms in the department. We have fully implemented the K-12 curriculum and the aggressive reforms of Sulung Educalidad to produce globally competitive learners and teachers. We also expanded our mission for accessible education by strengthening the Alternative Learning System, or ALS, and the Last Mile Schools programs to reach more Filipinos. Likewise, we also established the National Academy of Sports and Education Futures Unit to create more opportunities for our learners to anticipate the future of the education system in the country. Committed to sustaining the momentum, the department has developed and implemented the Basic Education Learning Continuity Program, or BELCP, where we offered various learning modalities and produced award-winning initiatives such as DepEd TV, DepEd Commons at the height of the pandemic. Eventually, the department held its grounds against an unprecedented challenge in basic education as we progressively expand the reintroduction of face-to-face -face classes in the country. Indeed, education is a shared responsibility. 
This is why we express our utmost appreciation to our dear parents and teachers for being our partners in nurturing the youth throughout the years. To the class of 2022, Resiliency is in your blood. You have survived one of the toughest times in human history, yet still embraced education as your primary tool to success. I believe that with your passion and purpose, you can reach your dreams and change the world. May you keep on harnessing and imparting wisdom as together we will build a nation of competent global citizens and future leaders as well as good Filipino citizens. Thank you. Mga mams, kadyang aad daw kami na graduate room. Produkto kang inyo pagtinguha ng matuguan kami kang kaarang. Kaarang, na amon git kinahanglan para sa pagdabot kang amon ginahandog sa amon kabuli. Salamat ka sa pihak ang piligro kang dyanga pandemya pero agad ka muna nagkataka sa pagbalik-balik sa eskilahan sa pagprint ka amon mga modules agad matugro ka namon ang kinahanglan namon ng kaarang. Salamat nga sa pihak kang amon pagpasaway Kung ka isa, bumulit ng pagpaugtas, pero agad ka muna nagkataka sa pagtudlo ka namin. Salamat nga sa mga oras na daw maubos ang inyong pasensya, tungod sa awot ng pagpaintindi ka namin. Nagapangibabaw man sa gihapon ang inyo pagkabalaka para sa amon kaaraydan. Salamat sa oras kag pagpalangga ka namin, kag sa pagkabig ka namin bilang inyong bid ng mga kabataan. Moms and Sirs, Durugin nga salamat sa tanan nga ginhimo ang ninyo ka namin. Kung ano man ang among madangatan sa para abuto, kagkun sa diin man kami daron kang kapalan, hindi gid namon kamong pagkipatan. Kami man sa gihapon magabalik sa Lanag Elementary School. Ang eskwelahan nga amugid ang among dinakabig nga pangarawang ng panimalay. Durugin nga salamat. Ano yun? Ang amon mensahe para kami nyo na may ka Nanay, tatay, ang inyo kalipay na hindi masukol kang inyo nabatian ng una namon nga pagkibig kung kami bagong lapsag pa lamang. Do ano nga kalipay ang, nagpun ang nagpuno sa inyo baratsyagon kang inyo una na nakapta ng amon malumok ng mga tulo. Kang kami inyo una manakukaw parapit sa inyo daghan. Kamo ang kaimaw namon dapat ninyo kami sa inyo mga alima kang kami una nga naglapak sa eskwelahan, daw kamo pa ang excited kang kami mga kinder pa lamang. Salamat nga sa pihak ka dyan nga pandemya, waragin ka mo nagkataka sa pagbalik-balik sa eskwelahan para magbuol kang maghatid kang amon mga modules. Para kami sa gihapon, padayon nga maangkon ang kaaram pero, pero hilway sa piligro. Nanay, tatay, lukasan ula ang panahon kami ka dyan na graduate rin. Pag natuman ang, mga, ang inyo mga handong para ka naman na matugroan kami kamayad ng edukasyon. Nanay, tatay, ura inyo binbali ka inyo sa tanga kataraman kabudlay inyo binaagwan ta. Kapungaw inyo binabaliwala. Pag-ubra sa mariyo ng lugar, Nabisan hindi inyo kami makaimaw sa adlaw-adlaw, masuportahan lang ang aming kinahanglan sa eskwelahan. Ang tanan ninyo ng pagsakripisyo ang mga kid din na-appreciate sa pihak kang aming pagpasaway kung kaisa, pagpagbungol, pagpagbungol-bungol sa inyo pagtuglo o kung kaisa, pagpamulugso sa inyo mga subo. Kung kami mawili kasi pa, dyan man ka mo sa gihapon, hindi magpasensya. Nanay, tatay, ang inyo ng mga pagsakripisyo kabay pa bisan paano na islang kang kalipay kaysa kadyang at siyempo amun, ang amun kay kosyon nga dya amun gid ginahalad kanina. Nanay, tatay, durugid nga salamat. Hindi man kami makabayad sa inyo pagsakripisyo para ka namun. Kami nagapang ngako nga kami magalimurat git agot amun matuman ang inyo ginahandong para ka namun. 
ang inyong mga pinalangga ng mga kabataan, nanay, tatay, tulog sa aming tagipusoon ng aming pagpasalamat, palangga naman kami. Together, let us look back to the memories of batch 2021-2022 spent here at Lanag Elementary School while playing their graduation song, Leaves by Ben and Ben.